Hey everyone, it's Apollo Tech here. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is on thumbstick resolution. So if you guys are following the channel, you know I'm in the middle of reviewing the Fusion Pro 4 and the Razer Wolverine V3 Tournament Edition. And uh, for the reviews, I was getting the resolution numbers for the sticks and I uh, was finding some sort of strange behaviors in the testing um, uh, results that I was getting on the PC side of things using a Python solution and gamepad tester numbers. So I just wanted to see if those numbers that I was getting correlate to the performance in game. And uh, the way I wanted to test this was I got a, um, a motorized solution to push the stick and record the screen using the Call of Duty stick dead zone uh, option to see how many percentages uh, is going up by and does that correlate to the data that I have collected. So let's take a look at the data that I've collected and I'll show you guys my results. So here I have the Stealth Ultra, the first one. I've already made a video on this controller last year uh, talking about the low resolution, especially when the King Kong 3 Max or something was announced with like really high resolution. And uh, so in the video I talked about how basically uneven output the controller had, uh, my particular unit, uh, where on the left hand side I only had um, around 60, 61 zones, individual zones, because every increment was 1.7%. It couldn't do anything in the middle. So it was 1.7% on the left. On the right hand side was a little bit better. I had 74 zones from the center, 1.4%. Uh, top was like the best one, uh, but still not a whole percent. It was um, like it's a one point, uh, nearly 1.1% uh, pushing upwards and uh, towards the bottom um, of the uh, stake is uh, only uh, 71 zones. Uh, so you can sort of like see it here. Now having um, the x-axis and y-axis having a different values might be a normal thing, uh, but this is very uneven. So that's the Stealth Ultra and uh, just to show you guys the result of this one, uh, when I did the screen recordings, it actually correlates absolutely exactly like that. So what I was looking for, basically I just pushed the stick uh, very carefully with a motorized solution um, and basically checking how many percentages basically is going up by. Uh, and uh, so on the left hand side, the controller was able to do 1.7%. That means every time it should be going up by 2% until a, uh, I think like if you go up by three uh, sort of differences, then you might have one percentage. And then sometimes it's four. When you go up by four different percentage, which is two, then you might have a single percentage. Uh, difference. So it starts from here and the first one is that 1% there and then it will go to 3, then it will go to 5 and from 5 it should go to 7 and then from 7 it should be able to do just a single percent. So 8 is there, then after 8 it will go up to 10, um, 10 till 12 and 14 and um, 16 and then it should be able to do a single 17. So that 1.7% push that I got um, using uh, the different methods on the PC actually is happening on Xbox as well. So a low resolution is definitely impacting, you can say, the precision of the sticks. Now at the time of reviewing, even when I made the video about the resolution, I said that I, the controller felt really responsive um, and I didn't feel like you know that it was uneven or something. I actually felt that controlling recoil because the bottom uh, has um, uh, a lot more um, register than the top, I felt that I could control the recoil a lot better on this particular unit. Um, but on the right hand side, uh, this, my unit has only seven, so it was going up by 1.4%, I believe, on the right. So the right resolution is, yeah, 1.4%. So two increments, it should be um, doing a single percentage and then um, uh, two percent, so one percent, and then it will go up to two, then two till four, then four to five, and then it'll go to seven, seven till eight, and then ten. So even on the right hand side, it's showing exactly what the how the resolution is actually impacting in game. So there's a big impact. If manufacturers are using a low resolution number, we are losing some precision then. And so as long as we have at least 100 zones from center to the edge, then that should be fine. But the Stealth Ultra is like the worst culprit, um, the my unit. So it has like really uneven resolution. And my test results showed for that. So for the top one, it should be doing, because uh, it's nearly 1%. 
So it does 1%, but every 9% points, it will go up by 2 because it was like nearly 1.1. So it only has 93 zones on the top. So And you will see that it will go up by, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So after 8, yeah, it goes to 10. So after 8, it will go straight to 10. Yeah. So... All that data, whatever they are doing, actually is definitely impacting in game. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes that wonky resolution is not only like, you know, uh, individual unit dependent. So my Razer V3 that I am reviewing right now um, has an issue where the left hand side has only 87 zones. Um, and the right hand side has like the most, uh, which is like 121. Top and down are very close, 112 and 113. So what Razer have used is, I don't know what they wanted to use, but on, on my unit on the left hand side, it's going up by 1.2% every increment. So what happens is it will change one percentage every um, uh, sort of like 4% numbers and then it will go up by a double digit. So because it only has uh, 87 zones, so that's what it does. But everywhere else, it seems to be fine. So top, bottom, because it has more than 100 zones, and it's fine. Um, and uh, at least they've used like the linear numbers. So there is like no um, individual like small inserts and stuff because that's another thing I want to show you guys. But this actually shows in the testing as well um, for the V3. So it's only the left hand side that I have lower resolution than anywhere else. And uh, that's exactly what happens here. Uh, so on the left, it will go up by, so it will start with uh, from zero, it will just go to 2% straight. Um, and then from two, it will do uh, three, um, four, five, six. And then from six, it won't do seven, it'll just go to eight. And then again, it will do four percentage points, single digit, and then it'll do, uh, so one uh, percent, and then it'll do a double jump again. So from eight, it'll go to nine, 10, 11, 12. After 12, it'll do, it won't do 13, it'll just do 14. So those zones, especially the unevenness is actually impacting um, our controllers. Now that's, I, st I still think the Wolverine V3 Tournament Edition is not bad, like our gaming with it, actually having a lot of fun with the controller. Uh, but yeah, my unit actually has this issue. So uh, I'm not sure like, you know, if every unit is supposed to be like this, but I wish it wasn't, you know, uneven like this, uh, if how the top and bottom are. I wish the left and right were like that as well. And I've done calibrations and uh, it's still like that. The right stick, uh, the left stick is a lot better. It's not like this, but I, I, you know, I don't really care about the left stick. It's the right stick that I'm aiming with that I would like it to be performing properly. Now, the next one is Fusion Pro 4 where they're doing something very different. Um, so whatever Power A has decided to do when it comes to like the zones, like these, you know, maybe in my calculation, there's some difference or whatever. So the zones are not that different on the Fusion. So I have 200 on the left, 186 on the right, 200 on the top, and 215 on the bottom. But what they are doing is, the ins so it's not a whole percentage is going up and down by. Um, so on the left-hand side, it's doing a 0.9% zone. And then it has a 0.07% insert every time, 0 0.9, 0 0.07, 0 0.9, 0 0.07. And on the right hand side, it's nearly a 1% and then 0.7%. So very slightly different, uh, but 1% and then 0.07% um, uh, uh, sort of like 0 0.007, I would say, like, you know, really small insert that they've used. But top and bottom are really different. So instead of using one insert, I'm seeing like double numbers. So for uh, the top is 0.9, and then we have uh, 0 0.07, 0 0.07, then 1.3%, 0 0.07, 0 0.07, 1.3%, 0 0.07, then 0.9%. It's uh, I understand that maybe the other axis was moving when I was doing that, but even in areas where nothing moved, we do have those double small inserts. And it really shows. So this is um, the bottom, basically, pushing the stick to the bottom. And you can see it's made up of it's a, a, each zone is made up of these three individuals, like so two really small values and then a one larger one. But if you look at the left or right, it's made up of uh, one smaller insert and a larger value. So 
Fusion Pro 4 definitely is a little bit challenging for me to get the settings down and playing with the controller, I do find it like I have to adjust to it, change my settings a lot. Uh, and um, I'm not sure why they've used it this way, but it's, it's a little bit different compared to the, um, uh, the V3 Tournament Edition. And then things like if we look at um, what GameSer has done, so GameSer has, uh, I've already made a video about this one, uh, their values are um, uh, slightly different, like um, 0.5 to 0.6. Uh, this one is the bottom and uh, top, but they are trying to keep it. They're not exactly the same values like a PlayStation controller. They're different values, but they're way more linear, like what Razer has done with the V3 Tournament Edition. Now, personally, I much prefer this, something like this, what the V3 uh, is doing. Um, if it's Stealth Ultra, if they were using lower resolution, but at least if it was even output, then I would say, yeah, that's okay as well. What I think I'm having a lot of trouble with is uh, the Fusion. Those inserts that they've used, those very small ones, uh, which sort of like artificially is upping the resolution or whatever is going above um, uh, the 100% uh, in either direction. Like I think I'm having some difficulty with that. Now, one thing I have noticed um, using a lower resolution, um, if you look at the latency numbers here, Stealth Ultra, so uh, if you guys follow the channel, you know what I'm doing here, recording a server for 240 frames and then just see how long it's taking for a screen to register. So these results are on 4K 120 VRR off uh, with the Gigabyte M28U monitor. They are in Call of Duty. So I've already um, shown the G7 uh, SE and HE results. Uh, and this one you can see Fusion Pro 4, which has that, you know, the little, it came 8.4. Um, the Wolverine V3 Tournament Edition 7.72, Elite Series 2 uh, 7.47, and Stealth Ultra 7.2. So that low resolution uh, can be very responsive because every little push, especially like how I'm testing, pushing the left hand side is 1.7%. So the moment it's moving, it's doing a 1.7%. It doesn't have anything in the middle or whatever. So it can feel a lot more responsive, uh, but ideally, I personally think the best, what I have experienced so far, is uh, the uh, GameSer solution and the Razer Wolverine V3 Tournament Edition. The Stealth Ultra is, again, very responsive, but it's definitely games like um, X-Defined. I do find I much prefer other controllers uh, than Stealth Ultra. But Call of Duty seems to work great with any control. Like I can get the settings down in Call of Duty perfectly, but X Define, I have noticed, I even love using the Elite Series 2 on X Define. And my Elite Series 2 is, you know, the play on the sticks is really bad. But I actually really enjoy using that uh, controller. So for whatever reason, higher resolution is definitely making an impact in that game. Now, I want to show you guys a way to test your own controllers, uh, sort of an easier method than Gamepad Tester. So if you like to check your controller doesn't have uneven output, the easiest one I found online was this HCI design page. They have a gamepad test um, sort of um, thing going on here. And what they do is instead of showing a lot of like gamepad tests, there are so many values you have to see how many is going up by. They just show you a, a percentage point uh, is how much the stick is going up by. So if I push the right stick, it will go up by the 1.7. So it's 3.5, if I, if I, so 7% there, 8.8. .8, 10.6 and uh, 12.3. So you slowly, if you sort of like read how many percentages going up by, you can see what your controller is doing and then you can try on the other side. So it's 1.4, 2.8, 4.2, 5.6, 6.9. So it's definitely, so it's like, I think it's 1.4 on this side. So you can check um, what, how much is going up by, so it's like 1% going up, so 11.3, 12.4, so it's 1.1 up, and then a down was 1.4 for me. So it's 2.4, 3.8, 5.3. So you can check sort of a little bit easier here. Now, is this a big issue? I don't know, you have to decide. Um, I think it should be equal, because on my controller, on this one, um, if I look at like, you know, the left stick is a lot more better um, then the, so it's like 1.2% on the left. And if I go on the right, 2.7, 4, so it's 1.3 on the right. So yeah, well, 5.4, 6.0, yeah. So 1.3, 1.2 is not that bad on the left stick, but my right stick is really whack, like um, a very wonky resolution and stuff. 
like I mentioned, I actually really enjoy using this in Call of Duty because I have more register on the bottom, so recoil control feels very easy. But yeah, uh, if you want to test your controller, uh, you can use this one, you can use Gamepad Tester as well, or you can even use Call of Duty's that stick dead zone uh, option uh, and just see how much is going up by in every direction. Just have to be very slow with that. I hope you guys find this useful. I thought this was very interesting. Uh, I think going forward, I will be including uh, the resolution uh, for every controller and stuff. And I think it's important to test um, basically the, the whole of X axis and Y axis. So not just like in one direction, like if it's uneven or whatever, and how it's uh, impacting gaming wise. Um, I so far, the only one that I'm struggling with a lot is the FP4 with those little inserts. Other than that, uh, it's been very easy for me to get adjusted to other controllers here. Thanks a lot to everybody who subscribed to the channel, guys. Uh, really means a lot. Thanks a lot for everybody who comments and shares um, their insights and their information. It really helps me out and everybody in the community. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully, I'll catch you in one of my other videos. Bye for now.